If you want to get rich in five days, read these three books. Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules. Self-improvement is a pro. No, I'm just kidding. I, I fuck with self-improvement. It definitely changed my life. Start, you know, if you're fat or you're just like a loser, you probably should read a David Goggins book. It might set you on the right track. But that being said, every self-improvement guy only preaches the same core books, the same Jordan Peterson, David Goggins, Ways to Be a Superior Man, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, um, Four Hour Work Week. It all gets so fucking derivative. There's a lot more, a lot, lot more that fiction books and philosophy can offer your brain, your knowledge. Because I'm gonna be completely honest, it gets to a point that when you're reading so many self-improvement books and you're probably not taking action that it just is a waste of time. It's just more dopamine because these books are telling you what you wanna hear. They give you false hope and you feel like you're doing something but instead you're just reading more useless knowledge that you'll never use. I'm calling myself out because I've read a lot of these books before I even took action or anything. I was just getting like so fucking aroused by, um, not in that way, but I was getting so aroused by just hearing all these these ways to be great instead of actually going for it. So why not use this opportunity? You're already getting a uh, good start reading, but why not read stuff that nurtures your knowledge, you know, expands your worldview? Because because self-improvement can get you on the right path, but, but all these fiction and philosophy books will get you to be a well-rounded viewer of the world around you. It literally expands your knowledge. Like you're, you're listening to other people's points of view and you're a fucking person so how could that not make you a smarter person just do the math and plus it's it's much more valuable than uh than the, the dopamine hit of a guy telling you to take cold showers and not jerk off and turn your tv off and do this this to why why would you waste your time so i'm gonna be honest you know maybe next time you're in the bookstore instead of picking up the next uh the next mark madsen book pick up the stranger by albert camus it teaches you how to find hopelessness in the world that has zero meaning. The Bell Jar, because why wouldn't you want to hear about what it's like to be mentally suffocated by your own thoughts and and really what depression is and, and someone's beautiful prose. My favorite, favorite book of all time, whenever I write, man, this is my fucking guideline. Jesus' Son by Dennis Johnson, and it's just a beautiful book on how spontaneous this world is, just kind of a... A, a realistic story of just um, a lost American, good old American man. Um, it's beautiful stuff. There's a lot more books that I probably will talk about in the future that will give you way more value um, than listening to books a bunch of entrepreneurs who are way more talented than you are telling you to read. Um, I'm just going to cut you some slack here, man. You know, just do the work. You don't need books. Just do the fucking work. If you want to stop being a little fake entrepreneur that swears they're doing work, but just reading all these books instead, then how about you try Ernest Hemingway, Sylvia Plath, fuck it, even try Charles Bukowski, because I guarantee that you will get so much more value out of that than reading The 4-Hour Work Week, Jordan Peterson, David Goggin is telling you to eat your own shit and run 2,000 miles with Ritz crackers in your ass, like, fucking stop.